Hey everyone, Dominic the Primetime Treasure Hunter here. In this video, I'm going to share with you some cool techniques and tricks and hacks that you could use when typing within the general search bar in eBay to make your searches more efficient, find things faster, and sometimes broaden out your search depending on what it is that you're looking for and what it is that you're trying to do. Now, these are things that you literally need to understand what exactly to type in and the concepts behind them because there's no magic button or set of buttons on eBay that you could press that's going to allow you to do the things that I'm going to show you. And if you understand the concepts behind them, it's going to allow you to do some pretty cool combinations of features and functions uh, to really narrow down your search. So get a pen and paper ready. Uh, get ready to bookmark the video uh, if you haven't seen these uh, techniques before because they really could help you out. So I'm going to share my screen with you here. And the first example I'm going to show you, it says Amazing Spider-Man 300. So a comic book title and the issue number. As I scroll down the page, you're going to see Amazing Spider-Man 300, but you're going to see a graded version, as you see on the first two listings, and you're going to see an ungraded version in the next two listings. And it just continues to alternate between those types as you keep scrolling down the page. Now, by graded, what I mean is that it has been uh, encapsulated in a plastic slab by uh, professionals who evaluated it and assigned it a number and the, the hard plastic serves to uh, help protect it and also it's useful for display purposes. Now I often run into this when I am uh, checking comic book values because you'll come across these CGC graded comics and I often have a raw comic in my hand that I want to get the the, the value of. And so I'm not interested in all the high priced graded um, values of it. So I want to get those eliminated. Now, if I was just interested in searching for those CGC graded comics, well, that's very easy what I would do, right? I would just type in that extra search term. I would just type in CGC. And as you can see, as I scroll down the page, it brings me a whole bunch of CGC amazing Spider-Man comic books. Great. If that's what I want, now I've eliminated all of the um, ungraded comic books. But how do I eliminate those ungraded ones? What do I do? What I do is I just put a minus sign right behind whatever search term it is that I want to eliminate from the listing. So here I type a minus sign behind CGC and that eliminates any listing that does not have CGC in it. So you see that? It's now just showing me the raw versions of the comic book. Now, it's not going to eliminate other companies that have graded comic books. So you can see here, it says CBCS. Well, okay, that's different from CGC. So that's why that's showing up. But if I want that eliminated, you guessed it. All I have to do is type minus CBCS. Do not put a space between the minus sign and whatever the search term is. I'll hit enter and what you're going to see is that now that one is eliminated. It is no longer down there. So you could do double eliminations. Now it's not going to eliminate someone who put graded comic books into a listing but never said that in the title. But it is going to do a wonderful job of eliminating a ton of stuff that you do not need to see. So that's the first thing is the minus sign. Yes, my example was with comic books, but you could use it for whatever it is that you're searching for, either trying to purchase and narrow down or trying to find values either through a comp search in terms of things that have sold in the past. It works for that too, or for what's currently on the market. So if you're looking basic example for leather jackets, it's bringing up a bunch of ones that are brown and black and you just want to narrow it down so that you get the brown ones eliminated just put minus brown and if you want to focus on black you could add the word black to it then put minus brown it'll get all of those brown ones out of there so it's just you know another uh, basic way of explaining it now let me move on to the next one here because this is something that happens often in which you type something in that you're looking for. So looking for Best Friends Magazine, that's the name of a pet magazine. And while it is bringing you back some relevant uh, results for that, like you could see in the first listing and you could see in the second listing, that is uh, Best Friends Magazine, the, the problem is it's also giving me other listings that 
are not Best Friends Magazine. So here it's bringing me Best Friends Activity Book Magazine. That's something totally different. Why is it doing that? It's doing that because when you type in these search words like this without giving it any other direction, it's just going to spit you back results that show those words in any combination anywhere within the listing title. So if I go down some more, you could see here we've got Best friends over here and magazine in the beginning or if i scroll down you know over here we've got my best friend's wedding magazine coming up you know we don't want that so the the thing you have to do to uh, make the listing show up so that they just have the words in the order that you're specifying them in because right now you can see we have 207 listings show up and we type it in that way all you have to do is take that term and put it within double quotes. And now we narrowed it down to 14 listings and you just go down and you're gonna see every single one of these listings is Best Friends Magazine. So that's how you do it. Just put it within the uh, double quotes and there you go, you're all set with that one. Now the next one, I'm gonna show you a bunch of different techniques that you could uh, use based on this one main example, which is uh, Doctor Who, as many of you know, my favorite uh, television show, longest running science fiction show uh, of all time. Right there, I just typed it in, Doctor Who, and you could see I've got 163,000 listings that show up. Well, what's the problem with that? Well, it's obviously very broad, but the thing is, there's another way people will spell Doctor Who. How? Well, they'll just abbreviate it. So they'll just type in Doctor Who. And the problem is that with the way even official products come out, like you could see this one right here, it is Doctor Who DR abbreviated, but then other times it's literally Doctor Who with Doctor being spelled out. So if you're trying to capture and trying to find listings that could have been entered either way that it was spelled, you're going to think, well, I guess I'm going to have to have two tabs open, which would be kind of a pain in trying to navigate between the two and then narrowing down the search further from there. Or what some people will mistakenly do is they will type in Dr. Who and then Dr. Abbreviated. So spelled out and abbreviated. But look what happens if you do that. It brings it down to 11,000 listings. Why does it do that? Because it's literally only going to show you listings that have all of those terms in it. So the listing would have to have the word doctor spelled out and doctor abbreviated for it to show up based on how this was entered. So if you look at this first one, it has doctor spelled out. And then over here, it has doctor abbreviated, doctor spelled out, and it has doctor abbreviated. But we don't want that. What we ideally want is we want to, to have a, a search show up in one tab that has either one of those. So what we basically want is to tell it to show us either listings that have Doctor Who with Doctor spelled out or Doctor Who abbreviated. How do we do that? This is what you have to do. You have to put both of the search terms in parentheses and separate them by a comma. And that brings those types of listings up for you. So now you will not only see things that have doctor with doctor spelled out and doctor abbreviated, but you'll also have listings as I go down here that have doctor who without the doctor being abbreviated. And you will also get listings as I scroll down a little bit more here, like this one has doctor who with doctor being abbreviated, but it doesn't have doctor being spelled out. Now, as a side note, this does show the importance of making sure that when you are selling, that you are including as many possible search terms as possible. If you ever list Doctor Who stuff, make sure you put Doctor abbreviated plus a doctor with it being spelled out. Because as you can see here, there's a lot of sellers that are missing out depending on how people search for things. Now, these are obviously general searches and most people are gonna wanna narrow it down some more into something specific. So I took two of the doctor's main enemies, the Daleks and the Cybermen, and I just typed them in. And the way I typed it in here is I separated 
the uh, parentheses set that I initially showed you, and I put another set of parentheses that says Dalek comma Cyberman. So what this is going to bring up, it's gonna bring up anything that has Doctor Who spelled out or abbreviated and anything that has Dalek or Cyberman in it. When you separate the search terms by multiple parentheses, that serves as an and function. When you separate within the parentheses by uh, commas, that serves as an or function. So we could get all sorts of different combinations of things that could show up here without fearing like we're missing something. That's the advantage of it. It really helps to make everything efficient within one listing. So here you could see Doctor Who with Doctor spelled out, and you see we have a Cyberman and a Dalek. So we have all the search terms there, the doctors abbreviated and spelled out. But let's go down some more, and you'll see things that you know don't literally have everything in it. So here you have Doctor Who spelled out. Uh, with the Dalek, but the doctor is not abbreviated and the Cyberman is not there uh, at all. And if you scroll down uh, over here, let's get another one. We have the Dalek with the doctor spelled out, no Cyberman, no uh, doctor abbreviated. So it just brings up all sorts of different combinations of things. Um, you know, it, it just depends like, you know, here again, Dalek, doctor spelled out, no Cyberman, no doctor abbreviated. Um, this one has the Cybermen in it, but it doesn't have the Dalek in it. So you could see the different types of combinations uh, all show up. Now, let me just go up, show you one last thing in terms of what we would call super search. And we're kind of getting that way when we start doing these combinations of things. Look at the first one. We've got a plate set show up. What if I don't want a plate set? I've seen, let's say I just keep coming across plate sets. I want to knock them out. What you do is you just take the minus sign and you put it behind the parentheses with the word plate in it. And what that's gonna do is eliminate the plate listing. So you could see there, it takes it out. You see that Doctor Who puzzle? That Doctor Who puzzle was showing up here, but now we eliminated the plate from it. So it's starting off with the Doctor Who puzzle right there. So the way to read this, just to end off, this is saying, Find anything with Doctor Who spelled out or Doctor Who abbreviated and anything that says Dalek or Cyberman and make sure that you eliminate anything that has the word plate in it. So I know that that could be a mouthful and it sounds a little bit complicated, but that's why it's on video. You could break it down, go back, look it over. And if you have questions about the concepts, let me know that. Uh, in the um, in the comment section. But I hope that this was helpful. Lots of cool, interesting techniques for you. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. If you think that anyone else that you know might enjoy this, might like it, might find these tips helpful, um, you know, certainly pass it on to them. And if you find that you're using them, they're really helping you out with your search, um, let me know that. If, if there was something new you didn't know from this, let me know. And if there's some other search thing that you're using, let me know that down below. I know all about wild cards, by the way. That's where you put a little asterisk after uh, certain letters that you type. And then it will. it's supposed to show up any spelling of the word after where, wherever you put that asterisk mark. But that doesn't work reliably on eBay anymore, so I don't use it, and that's why I'm not going into it in this video. But uh, by all means, let me know what helped, and uh, let me know if you have any questions or any other tips to put down. So with that, I'm going to sign off, and I'll see you all at the next video, everyone. Take care.